Let's talk about Brandon Ayuk. How good of a wide receiver is Brandon Ayuk? Probably he doesn't get the credit that he deserves as one of the best wide receivers in the league. Yes, of course, you have the Justin Jeffersons, you have the Cooper Cubs, you have the Michael Thomas. It, I mean, Michael Thomas is injured, but you have many other names out there that they're considered to be the top of, of the wide receivers, including Debo Samuel. Now, let's start in-house. Let's talk about Debo Samuel against Brandon Ayuk. And I'm not going to compare one-to-one. -one. I'm not going to compare uh, wide receivers, okay? Brandon Ayuk and Debo Samuel, they are completely different wide receivers. They're built different. They run different routes. They are completely opposite white type of wide receivers. What you can compare on wide receivers is the hands. If you compare Brandon Ajuk hands against Debo Samuel hands, there is no doubt that Brandon Ajuk has better hands than Debo Samuel. Not only the statistics says that Brandon Ajuk has better hands, but it's evident. It's evident how both wide receivers, they catch the ball. Now, Brand, uh, Debo Samuel drops a lot of passes. And that, at least for me, it puts a huge question mark in the hands of Debo Samuel. We saw in a couple of games, Brandon Ajuk dropping a touchdown pass. And you can, you can e even um, say that it was an easy one. He was alone. He was in a comfortable position in the end zone just to grab the ball and make the touchdown. So we know Brandon Aju um, drops passes too. And probably every single wide receiver in the NFL, they drop passes. But again, let's, let's continue with this observation about Brandon Ayuk and Debo Samuel. I remember, and I'm OG, a real, real OG. I'm talking about OG seeing the 49ers against the Bengals in the Super Bowl. I was a kid, but I was around. So, real, real OG. And when Jerry Rice was in, in his prime, he was always questioned about what makes wide receivers great. And one of his answers was, wide receivers, they always catch the ball with the hands, not with the body. Debo Samuel, sometimes he tends to catch the ball with the body. Brandon Ayuk rarely catch the ball with the body. He always goes up, got, grab the ball, first hands, snag the ball, then start running. We saw in these in this past games a couple of throws of Jimmy Garoppolo in the middle of the field. He throw high on Brandon Ajuk and amazing the grabs that Brandon Ajuk made. There is no doubt that Brandon Ajuk has better hands than Debo Samuel. Now, if you want to argue which one of the wide receivers is better, well, that is a lot more complicated. Like I said, you are not comparing apple to apples. You are not comparing orange to orange. They are two completely different type of wide receivers. Now, if you want to compare Brandon Ajuk with other wide receivers like Justin Jefferson, Cooper Cobb, um, Stephon Diggs, well, some of them, you might be able to make that comparison with these other wide receivers. 
But if you start comparing Brandon Ayuk's hands with these other wide receivers, he's not far behind. He's, uh, surprisingly, very close to the level of Justin Jefferson, Stephon Diggs, Michael Thomas, and some other older uh, um, uh, wide receivers that they're, that they're still playing. Julio Jones, A.J. Green, I mean, you name it. You can put it out there, and he will fare very good against any wide receiver that you put right now in the NFL. That makes him a very good wide receiver. Number one, let's start with that point. Number one, hands, amazing hands. Number two, routes. He is shifty as hell. He's been running one of the best routes I ever seen from a, a, a 49er wide receiver. And remember, for a long time, we didn't have good wide receivers. Probably since Jerry Rice and, and Terrell, Terrell Owens. That is a long time. For some time, we have Anquan Bolding which, by the way, completely different type of wide receiver than Brandon Ayuk and, and Debo Sam. Completely different. Completely different. You, you can, there is not point of comparison between these three wide receivers. Nonetheless, on Quad Bolden hands, they were very good. Very, very good. So, route. I can say that Brandon Ayuk is up there with routes of Justin Jefferson or Stephon Diggs. If you don't believe me, go through the film and you will see an amazing route, what amazing route Brandon Ayuk runs. Then you have another elite wide receivers that they're completely different, but they also run very good routes, like Cooper Cup. But Cooper Cup, most of the time, he's aligned inside in the slot receiver. So, let's separate that. Very good routes. Again, if you put it out there and you make the comparison, probably it is between Justin Jefferson Stephon Diggs, Michael Tom, some, some place there. He's up there, Brandon Ayuk. Number three, yards after the catch. And here is where Brandon Ayuk shines. If in the, in, in the past two uh, points of comparison, the other wide receivers, they have the edge, I do believe that is in this third one, Brandon Ayuk has the edge. These other wide receivers, they are a little bit more on the, I don't want to call it finesse, but different type of wide receivers. They are more slender. They are more vertical treads. I, I mean, a little bit different. And probably it's due to the scheme. Probably it's, it's, it's about the, the offense's scheme that they, were run, that they are running that makes them a little bit different. But, again, Brandon Ayuk is up there. Yards after the catch. And not only yards after the catch, yards after the first contact. All the wide receivers, which, by the way, they are amazing and they are very good, but they are not as strong as Brandon Ayuk. And now you start making the comparison with even bigger uh, body type of body wide receivers, like Michael Thomas, probably Keenan, La Keenan Allen when he was in his prime, strong, big, wide receivers. But by the way, Brandon Ayuk is not that big, but he's very good after the catch, and he's very good after the first contact. And you can make now the argue that it's similar to Debo Samuel in that, in that regard. Only in that regard. Both of them, they played absolutely the most physical 
football that you can see in a wide receiver. And, I mean, amazing. Brandon Ayuk has the ability, as Debo Samuel, and as other wide receivers, that as soon as he gets the ball, he can take it to the house. He can take it to the touchdown. Very good. I mean, one of the best. Other point of comparison, it is that many people, they don't pay much attention on this, on this factor. But if you are in the scheme as the 49ers run in, 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 in this offense, it is very important for every single wide receiver to block down the field. And Brandon Ajuk as Debo Samuel, they are one, if not the best, dual wide receivers blocking down, down the field in the running game. Or even in the passing game. That is another factor that many other wide receivers, they are not even close to Brandon Ajuk. So you can make the argument that Brandon Ajuk is a rising star. Give him some more time and he will be, there is no doubt about it, one of the best in the league. Now you have other arguments that, that you can make that, that the type of quarterbacks that other wide receivers they have, if they're better than Jimmy Garoppolo, if the play calling, it, it, I mean, brings the best of the wide receivers in, in a different scheme, so on and so forth. But let's stick to the facts and let's stick with what, seen, what we've seen so far from, Tibo, from Brandon Ayuk, sorry, and to make the analogy with other wide receivers in the NFL. Like I said, again, one of the best rising star for the 49ers, pure wide receiver. I do consider that he's better than, than Debo Samuel. Again, not to dis disrespect Debo Samuel. Debo Samuel, it is a completely different type of offensive weapon, period. But as a pure wide receiver, he's up there with the best. Let me know what you think. Comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And like always, see you in the next one.